Hey guys, Supervisor Team here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to solve the video object segmentation task with the use of two state-of-the-art models, SAM for the fast object segmentation and the XMEM for mask tracking. Let's start. Okay, so the first step is obviously to deploy our neural network, but today I'm going to need not one but two neural networks. One is XMEM, obviously, and another one is the interactive segmentation model to actually make the masks in order to track them. So let's do exactly that. Let's go into the start menu and into the neural networks tab. Here we have a lot of categories and sections. Uh, we need to work with videos. So let's go into the segmentation and tracking section and find here XMEM. So here I have it. Let's run it. I want to run it on my own agent. If you want to connect your own agent to Supervisely, you can watch a video that I will link in the description. So let's run it. Okay, we can close this window for now uh, while it installs dependencies and pulls uh, Docker images and all of that. We could deploy another model, which is same in my case. Let's deploy it on my own agent too and press run. So I will use the medium size model. That's all good. Now we can navigate to our data. So here is my example. Let's grab a smart tool and create a new class, which is going to be dog. Let's pick a color that would contrast with the grass and segment the dog itself. Let's place a positive point and see the prediction that the model makes. I'm going to place a point here and maybe a point here. Okay, so now we need to create a new object. So we can press Control plus space and go into the objects menu and press create new class. Okay, looks good. Now let's create a mask. Okay, now we can grab a select figure tool and select these two objects. And now we can go into the track settings. And if you have several of the object tracking neural networks deployed on your device, you could uh, choose between them. In my case, I have only one. So let's set the amount of frames that we need to track. I'm going to go with 50. Now we can press the track button. Okay, so the model finished processing the 50 frames that we tracked. So let's see the result. But before we do that, I'll set the playback speed to 30% so we can see more clear. As we saw, we've got pretty good results because the video that I chose is pretty challenging for the model as it has some moments of occlusion and a lot of object motion. The model performed really good because it has to track masks, which is a lot, a lot harder than rectangles or polygons. So if you have enjoyed this quick showcase, please leave a like under this video and subscribe to our channel. And if you have some questions or feedback, leave them in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.